Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, Carlos. Welcome. <laughs> Wilfredo, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. No exercise hello, teacher. today. Good evening. Hello. hello. Wilfredo, no. Today, no. Not, no, okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. hello. Maria. Tomorrow. Welcome. Tomorrow. <laughs> Excellent. Tomorrow. Very good. Good evening. Excellent. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, Maria. Delia, hello, welcome. Hello, teacher. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Then we have Elsa and we have also Brenda, right? Brenda and Evelyn too, right? Okay, good. So let's begin, right? Let's begin with the show. Okay, yesterday we were learning about the use of have to and need to, to talk about obligation, right? And urgencies, urgencias. Have to and need to. Here in this case, we have uh, some examples, right? We have, I have to travel. She has to travel, huh? for example, right? And then uh, when we use the negative form, we say, I do not have to travel. You do not have to travel. Or with contraction, we can say, I don't have to travel. They don't have to travel. Or with third person singular, he, she, and it, we say, he doesn't have to travel. She doesn't have to travel. It doesn't have to travel, right? This is with the use of have to, right? Then we learn how to make questions, right? Do you have to travel? Do you have to fix your car? Do they have to send the emails? Do we have to study? Et cetera, et cetera, right? And also... With that, right? Does he have to? No, does he has to? Remember, right? Does he have to? Remember the general rule. Every time we use does, like in negative, look. Like in negative. We don't say have. We say have. Does not have. She does not have, right? Or in question, does she have to? So you don't have to say, does she has to? No, 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 no. Does she have to, right? Then we can answer, yes, I do. No, I don't. And remember that uh, you don't have to say, yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> no. Yes, I do. Right? Or no, no, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. No. No, she doesn't. We use the auxiliary, right? Do and does. In negative, in questions, and in short answer, we use the auxiliary, right? In affirmative, no. I have to. You don't say, I do I do have to. I do have to. No, no, it's only I have to. So only in affirmative, we don't use the auxiliary, right? This is in relation with, with uh, have to. Uh, affirmative, negative, and yes, no question. And also here we have the the information question, right? Remember the information question? Uh, start with words like what, when, where, why, how, who, etc., etc., right? For example, you say who or what, for example, what do you have to do? What do you have to send? What do you have to complete? When do you have to make it? 
where do you have to to work where where do you have to to study why does she have to study for example right so we talk about a uh, obligation right also here instead of have to we can say need to right so i say why do you need to study english huh? why do you need to study english then you say because i like it or because i need to to get a job or to travel etc etc right so we have the use of have to need to and Affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and information question. This is the theory, right? Now, it's time to practice. Oh, well, yesterday we were learning about this question, right? But now we are going to work with activities, right, that are related to your work in your companies, right? In all the companies in this class. For example, in graphic. Graph Depot, Mediterranean Chipping, or Terminador, Rodeo Swiss Boring, Aero Mantenimiento, Avícola Salazar, Compañía de Equipos, López A, Municipio de San Martín, Cooperativa Cuscachapa, Santa Bárbara S.A., etc., etc. Right? All the companies in this class, you need, you have obligations or, or urgencies you no know, urgencia, right, in, in, in your job. So you have to, you have to need, to, right? So we are going to make a practice, right? Uh, I repeat, these are only examples. I am sure you have other obligations in your job. Like, for example, uh, you know, like to make payrolls, like, I don't know, to check the machinery, or et cetera, et cetera. But these are some exa general examples of things you have to do in your company, right? Write report, send report, send emails, arrange meetings, that means arreglar reuniones, right? Carry boxes, carry products, keep track. Keep track is llevar un record, llevar un registro, right? Keep track. Repair computers, ask for a system. So we're going to do something, right? Uh, I need you make sentences in affirmative using have to, right? For example, let's let's talk about right, right reports. Look at this example. So you can say, I have to write reports. Or you can say, she has to write reports. Or you can say, they have to write reports. Only in affirmative, only in affirmative, right? Also, we are going to use need. One sentence with have, the other sentence with need, right? For example, you can say, uh, you need to write reports. He needs to, to write to write reports, right? You see, these are examples. Then I will call you names, students here in this class, right? And uh, you are going to use write and send report. Okay, let's start with Delia. Delia, can you help me, please? Give me one example of a sentence using write reports, have to, send reports, need to, right? Please. I have to write okay. I uh -huh. have to I have to write reports. Send reports. Need need to. I, I need to send to send reports. 
Okay, very good. Carlos. Teacher, ah, yes. Teacher, I, I, um, yo me confundo, no sé si me confundo o, o, o porque yo eh, cuando hago las tareas de repente, este, para mí es eh, need, need to. Pero cuando lo hago, eh, no en todas, ¿verdad? Pero de repente me dice es has to, o sea, have to. Eh, por ejemplo, le voy a poner un ejemplo. Eh, dice, ella necesita, eh, para mí ella necesita bajar de peso para usar su vestido de, de novia. Para mí es, ella necesita. Pero en la lección, en, 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 la, en, en la tarea era, ella ella have to, she have to, she has to. Entonces a mí eso me, 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 me confunde. Ok, but uh, in my opinion, this is a question of, of intention, right? Uh, for example, when you say that you have to send an email in your company, there are two possibilities. Number one is part of your work, is part of, of your obligation in your job, Delia, right? So you say, I have to. Tengo que hacerlo, es mi obligación, right? I have to. I have to send an email. But this is a point of view, right? This is un punto de vista, right? That you say, is my obligation. But when you talk about need or necessity, necessity is something necessary or urgent, urgente, right? Your boss say, eh, Delia, I need this email. Send it in this moment, please. So, and then you say, I need, I need, to send an email, right? So the perspective here is number one, obligation, and number two, necessity, or a, how can I say, or, or urgency, right? So, but in, in both cases, in ambos casos, right? In both cases, it's part of your job. It's part of your obligations. Urgency or no urgency is part of your job, right? Okay? It's part of your job. Yes. Uh -huh. So you have to do it. Yes. But uh, it depends of your point of view. Or the point of view of the person who who did the, the test, right? Uh, depende del punto de vista o de la visión del que hizo el examen. Okay, for example, if, if you say, bueno, hacer un vestido para casarse es una, para mí es una necesidad, right? Mm -hmm. And then you say, pero para el otro puede ser una obligación. So it's very ambiguous, the situation, right? But in my personal opinion, Delia, right? Uh, the important part here is the structure. Para mí lo más importante en este tema de need to or have to es la estructura gramatical, right? No tanto que una cosa sea necesidad y la otra sea obligación, right? I need to or I have to. At the end is the same. Al final siempre tiene que hacerlo porque es parte de su trabajo, right? Sea que sea rápido o que siempre tenga que hacerlo, but it's, it's part of your job. But what, what I need you to understand here, lo que más me interesa a mí en, en esta clase, right? Es que ustedes entiendan cómo manejar las oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas con el auxiliar have to y need to, right? Ahora que si eh, ustedes quieren usar need to o have to, si me lo pusieran en un examen a mí, yo les contestara, todo lo tienen bueno, right? <laughs> Pero en la plataforma hay que contestar de una o de otra forma. Sin embargo, eh, ustedes ya sabiendo que aunque pongan need to o have to, ambos van a estar correctos. ¿verdad? Ahorita vamos a hacer un quiz también. que Ustedes van a ver si, si se usa have to o need to. 
depende de las condiciones, ¿no? Ahí vamos a contestar. Yo les voy a hacer un quiz ahora, sí. Les voy a hacer un examen y ustedes contestan y, y me dicen, ah, bueno, teacher. Entonces, ahí sí, pues, o sea, él, él le duele una muela, es de algo necesario, pues. Y a la misma vez tiene que hacerlo porque no, él le va a caer el diente la muela, <risa> ¿ok? O, o, o no sé, eh, yo tengo la necesidad de pagar la luz. O, o, o lo veo de otro punto de vista, mejor. Tengo una obligación porque si no la pago me la corta. Entonces yo tengo que, I have to I have pay. To. Ajá. Entonces eso es bien subjetivo, bien ambiguo. Ya, y eh, es, uh, depende del, de la persona que haga la oración y del punto de vista que ella tenga. Más que, más que, ah, ahí no era have to, ahí era need to. Ay, me equivoqué, ya no puedo. Soy malo en inglés. No, 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 no se trata de eso, right? se, se trata de, de, de cómo se llama, de, para mí, pues, elaborar las estructuras correctamente, el sujeto, el, en lugar de decir she have to, decimos she has to, en lugar de decir she need to, decimos she needs to, ya eso para mí es más importante, porque se usa en, ya en, en, en un montón de oraciones en, en la vida real, ¿no? Ya cuando ustedes están hablando, vienen una película, escuchando un, eh, una canción, etcétera, etcétera. Ahí hay que aplicar la estructura gramatical correcta. No, I, I don't know if I answer your question, Delia. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yeah. yes, um, sí, este, yo eso, lo que usted está explicando, sí, yo eso decía, pero eso es de acuerdo a mí, a mí lo que yo veo como necesidad, lo que yo veo como eh, urgente, pero ahora que usted lo explicó, como dice en la plataforma, es otra cosa. Ajá, you have to answer eh, A or B, right? Tiene que contestar okay. una de las dos, yes. Uh, pero lo bueno de la plataforma es que si usted se equivoca, le da chance de, de corregir, ¿no? Entonces, ahí estamos. Yes. Good. Thank you, teacher. Uh, okay, you're welcome. Uh, uh, another commercial, right? Eh, también hay, hay otra confusión, esto no lo vamos a ver ahora, pero eh, también con el uso del may, el can y el could. Eh, por ejemplo, usted para decir, I, I can go to the party, puedo ir a la fiesta. But I could go to the party, podría ir a la fiesta. Okay, I may go to the party, yo puedo ir a la fiesta, tengo la posibilidad. So, you, it's confusing, right? Pero al mismo tiempo que está diciendo que hay una posibilidad de ir a una fiesta, ¿no? Y usa can, could y, y may. Los tres se pueden utilizar, ¿no? Para que vea que no solo es aquí en este, en este punto, sino que hay varios... Hay varias formas. Eh, y otro ejemplo para terminar es el uso de los posesivos, right? Para ilustrarlos, que, que en inglés no solo es aquí, ¿vale? ¿no? Que depende del punto, de lo que usted quiera usar de acuerdo a su punto de vista. Por ejemplo, eh, cuando digo her car, her car, el carro de ella. O I can say Delia's car. Delia's car, right? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Que el carro es de ella. El carro es de Delia, right? Y estoy usando dos estructuras. Pero con el mismo fin, hablar de una posesión. Lo mismo el have to y el need to. Está hablando de obligaciones o tareas en su trabajo. Que alguno sea obligación y otro sea urgencia y no, o necesidad, ya es otra cosa. ¿no? Ok, let's continue, right? Thank you, Delia. Thank you very much. Now, um, Let's go to the next one, right? Uh, Carlos, please help me. Uh, here, right? Send emails, arrange meetings. Have to and need to, right? Hello. Hello, hello. Bah, okay. Write reports, reports. Send emails. Send emails. Send emails. Send emails. Have to. I have. Mm. Arrange meetings. So send emails with have to and arrange meeting with need to, right? I need you to make two sentences. Two sentences, Carlos. Come on. Dos oraciones. Mm -hmm. I... Uh -huh. My boss and 
emails. Okay, my boss has to. My, my boss has to send emails. Good, now need to, need to. Arrange meeting. Okay, around meeting. Yeah. Around, around yes. I, you, he, we, Pedro, you, Maria, Juan, Antonio, Carmen. You have around meetings. You, you need to. Come on. You need to. You need to. Arrange. Arrange, arrange. arrange meetings. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right? Good. Okay. Uh, carry boxes and carry products. Uh, Maria, please help me. Carry boxes, carry products. Have to and need to, Maria. Uh, I have to carry boxes. Uh huh. Um, she ha she has. She needs products. to. No wait. Need to. Need to. From, uh, she for, needs for, to. Sorry, sorry. She uh, needs. She needs to. Carry uh -huh, But in this case, you have to say needs to. Needs to. With S. With S. Needs to. Needs to. Mm -hmm. Like you say, she has to. She needs to, right? Okay. Because it's she, he, and it, right? Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, now, uh, Moises, please. Keep okay. track. Uh, Repair computers. Have... Okay, uh, I have to keep track. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I need to repair computer. Excelentoso, right? Asombrante. <laughs> okay, thank, <laughs> thank you. you very much. Thank you very much, right? So this is the example. Now let's go to the next. In this case, it's going to be negative, right? Negative. So you can say, for example... They don't have to install programs. They don't have to install programs, right? Negative. She doesn't have to sell products. Or we need you don't need to uh, exchange information info right you don't need to change exchange or information These are examples, right? So, need to, have to. And notice that when you say doesn't, it's not necessary to say she doesn't has to. No, she doesn't have to. Or maybe need to. She doesn't needs to. No, needs to, no, need to, right? Why? Because you're using the auxiliary, right? Okay. With this information, uh, Francisco, help me, please. Install programs. In negative, in negative. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome, Francisco. Oh. Um, cualquier, cualquier. Yes, um, any subject. He, she, we, okay. uh, Pedro, Juan, Antonio, Firulais, etc., etc., right? <laughs> Okay. Uh, he don't. He he have... doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, okay. He doesn't. Has. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. To... Wait. Give me a second, Francisco. When you you say that, when you say doesn't, it's not necessary to say has. Uh, Why? Okay, sí. Because general. of the auxiliary, right? It's a general yes. rule. Remember. It's Quiero que se acuerden de esta regla para siempre, de aquí en adelante hasta la eternidad. <laughs> okay. 
Eh, siempre que usamos el auxiliar en inglés, cualquier auxiliar, el verbo regresa a su forma normal. Ya no, 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 no necesitamos ponerle has o needs o works o, o, o speaks. No, no, ya no. Porque siempre que se use el auxiliar en la gramática en inglés, nos indica que el verbo va a regresar a su forma natural, a la forma infinitiva, ¿ok? Good. Sorry. Okay, Sorry okay. for the intro. Ok, go ahead, Francisco. He, he doesn't have... He doesn't... Ajá. Uh -huh. ...have to install programs. Ok, excellent. Now, sell products. Need to. Need to. She doesn't... Okay, perdón, perdón. Ah, it's correct. She um, doesn't. Have to sell no, need products. To, need to, need to, need to. Need She doesn't to. need. Uh -huh. Need to sell products. Excellent, Francisco. Very good, right? Now, Ingrid, please. Exchange information, buy new merchandise. Exchange information with have to in negative and buy new merchandise need to in negative, right? Come on, Ingrid. The microphone, Ingrid. And, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the class. Yes, welcome. I don't have exchange information. I don't have to. I don't have two. I don't have two, two. Uh -huh. exchange information. Good, good, good. Continue. Sorry, teacher, what era lo? Buy new merchandise. Buy new mm -hmm. merchandise. And negative. Negative, yes. Need to. Need yes. to. Need to. I don't. Buy new no, I don't I don't need to. I don't need I, to. I don't need to buy new merchandise. Excellent. Asombrante, Ingrid. Yes. Very good. Congratulations, right? Now, Wilfredo, receive money. Decide what to buy. Remember, uh, I imagine, Wilfredo, uh, because you're a manager, Maybe you take decision, right, about what products your company needs. I don't know. But this is an, a, an obligation in, in, in the companies that uh, some people in the company need to, to take the decision what to buy for the company, right, what products to buy. Hmm? So receive money, decide what to buy. Come on, Wilfredo. Uh, I don't have, I don't, I don't need to receive the money. Uh -huh. Decide what to buy. Have to, have to. Okay, I have to. No, I don't I have, don't have I, uh -huh. I don't have to receive the money. Okay, now decide what to buy. Ah, okay. But I, I... Whatever. I need, uh -huh. need, need. That's okay. Need to. I, I, I need to. No, I don't need to. I don't, I don't need to decide what to buy. Excellent. Very good, Wilfredo. Excellent. I like it, right? Now, let me see. Uh, Brenda Lee. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Que tengo mensajes acá. Let me see. Uh, Alexi uh, Oyente. Okay. Está lloviendo a canto. It's raining cats and dogs in the house of Alexi, right? Okay. It's raining cats and dogs. In Spanish, lloviendo, eh, lloviendo perros y gatos, right? O oh, lloviendo a canto. Let me see. Eh, Jonathan, present, ajá. Uh -huh. And Ada, hello. Estaré de oyente. Okay, good. Very good, Ada. Okay, good. So, Brenda Lee, hello, welcome. Hello. Now, uh, I hello. You, hello, I can hear you, yes, I can hear you. Ah, okay. Now, uh, I need you give me examples, Brenda Lee. 
using a have to and need to in negative with trans okay. transport products and fixed cars. Okay. She doesn't have to transport products. Excelentoso. Yes. She doesn't she, have to. Uh, uh, and I don't need to fix cars. My goodness, Brenda Lee. Excelentoso. Asombrante, right? Very good. Now we're going to go to questions. We already checked the affirmative. Now the negative. And now, class, we're going to check how to make questions. How to make questions with have to and need to, right? With activities that you do in your company, right? Okay? In activities that you have to do in your company. Good. Uh, Enrique, welcome to the class, Enrique. Uh, can you participate? Welcome. Uh, I can by driving no, to my ah, house. No problem, no problem. So <laughs> I understand, don't worry. So lo voy a poner de oyente, Thanks. Enrique. Lo voy a poner de oyente. Thanks. Cuando, cuando llegue a casita me avisa, please. Ahí en el okay. chat. Okay. Yes, be careful, porque por todos lados está lloviendo, así que no me vaya a chocar por ahí, okay. Now, the, Evelyn, the traffic is horrible. I imagine. Bueno, uh, Evelyn creo que va a estar de oyente, ¿verdad, Evelyn? No, teacher. No, no. Ah, oh, excelentoso. Okay, so Evelyn, know the policies, know the regulation. I need you, you help me with this. I will give you one example, right? Only one example. Right? Okay. Uh, in questions, I say, do you need to know the regulations? The regulations? And then I will answer for you, Evelyn. I will say, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. This is me, the teacher. I will answer your question, right? But okay. I need you to make the question, number one, know the policies with have to and know the regulation with need to, right? Okay, go ahead, Evelyn. You need that I answer the two. No, no. I need you make the question. You make the question. The two options. Uh -huh, the, the, option question, uh -huh, the question is with have to. And the second one is with need to. Right? And then you can say, do you, do they, does she, does he, does Pedro, etc., etc. You can use any subject. Evelyn. Okay. Do you have to know the policies? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, continue. Next one. Know the regulation. Know the regulation. Um... Need to, right? Need to. Need to. Do you need to help workers? No, to, to know the regulation. Or uh, do you need to know the regulation? Uh, no, I don't. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you. Now, uh, Elsa, please, can you help me, Elsa? Help workers and help people, right? Make okay, the question. Okay. Make the question. Need to and have to. Uh, she. Does she? Does da, she? Da, does she? Uh, does she need? N need to? to? Need to help workers? No, she doesn't. Okay. Help people. Help people. And uh, that's. Uh, do do they mm, have to help work people? Yes, they do. Okay, very good, Elsa. <laughs> Thank you. Asombrante. <laughs> okay. 
Good. Now, uh, Jonathan, please help me, Jonathan. Uh, help company and advertise, publicitar, publicitar, right? Advertise the company. Help the okay. company, uh, advertise the company. Questions, questions. Does he need to help the company? Yes, he does. Um, do uh, does she does she have to advertise, advertise the uh -huh. company? Uh, no, she doesn't. Okay, Jonathan, congratulations. Very good. I like it. Now, Brenda, help me, please. Design softwares, develop softwares. Do you, do you, do you have design mm -hmm. software? Do you have to? Do you have to design software? Uh, no, I don't. Develop. Do you do you need to develop software? Uh, yes, I do. Develop means desarrollar, right? Llevar a cabo, develop. Thank you, Brenda. Nice. Nice. Hello, Freddy. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. We miss you. Lo extrañamos nuevamente. Thank you, teacher. You're, you're back, right? You're back. Back. Reloaded, recargado. <laughs> okay, okay, Freddy. Now, eh, do you understand the exercise? Si ¿Sí entiende cómo estamos haciendo este ejercicio, Freddy? Using the need how, uh -huh, have to, in need. In questions, in yes, no questions, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. good. Now answer the phone and make phone calls. Make the, the question, please. Make the okay. question. Do you need to answer the phone? Yes, I do. Do do you have to answer the phone? Yes, I do. Now make phone calls. Do you need to make phone calls? No, I don't. Okay, Freddy, congratulations. Nice. You okay. did it. You did it well. You did it well. Good. Now, also here with these verbs, we can use information question to look. For example, I can say, uh, when, when do you have to help the company? Here in this case, you, when do you have to, uh, yes, I do. <laughs> no, no, yes, I do, no. When refers to time. I say, when do you have to help the company? I have to help the company tomorrow. For example, right? Oh, other company, uh, other company, other example, sorry, is uh, where, where does he uh, need to design softwares? Software. He needs to design software in his company, for example, right? Mm -hmm. This is one example. Okay, now I, I can make another question here. For example, uh, Elsa, what, what is one of your obligations in your company, Elsa? Um, I, I have to... Uh, keep the quality quality of product. Okay, keep the quality of product. So, I can make this question, right? Uh, why do you need to keep the quality of the products? And then in this case, uh, Elsa will answer, because uh, is necessary I don't know it's necessary to make this process for the customer for example I, 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 don't, know, I don't know okay or maybe other question could be when we, because uh -huh. we need to sell 
Ajá, quality yeah. products. Yes, of course. <laughs> if you sell quality products, the people will buy your product again, right? But if you say, no, this product is not good. I, I, I never buy new products in this company, right? Yeah, good, good, Elsa, nice. Or <laughs> here, for example, you say, uh, when? When do you, do you keep the quality of the product? When, when do you need? Or when do you have to keep the quality of the product? Uh, every, every, every time. <laughs> every day, yes. I need to keep the pro the quality of the products every day. Every time. Uh -huh. Every time, every moment, every hour, right? Every product. Every second, <laughs> every second. of my life. <laughs> I imagine, yes, of course. It's absolutely necessary, right? Okay, class. Yes. Now, do you understand? This is the reality, right? Esto es el mundo real, la vida real. ¿Cómo aplicar este ejercicio del have to, need to, en la vida real, right? Any question? Okay, now let's continue with more exercises. Right? Good. Uh, but before to continue, we'll take the attendance. Ya no hay más listener. Okay, good. Uh, Tengo de asist en la asistencia a Enrique, a Ada y a Alexi, que están de oyentes. Ya les tomé la asistencia, así que no lo voy a mencionar. Pero entiendo que están de oyentes y que en algún momento se van a conectar. Ahí me van a mandar el mensaje. Ok. A los demás les voy a tomar la asistencia. Ok. Brenda Lee. Present. Brenda. Present. Carlos. Present. Francisco. Present. Delia. Present, teacher. Elsa. I'm here, teacher. Good. Erenia. Erenia. Ok, debe estar lloviendo fuerte en San Miguel, no en Sonsonate, en San Miguel. Ok. Yes, yes, teacher, San Miguel is, is terribly. I in imagine. This time. Eh, yes. Carlos, ¿cómo está ahí por su zona en San Miguel? Hola, mire, ahorita que no hay energía eléctrica. Uh, por sorry, eso, Carlos. Tengo la cámara apagada. Okay, ahorita. I understand. Está, pero no está en el bosque. <laughs> no, en el cuarto estoy ya. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Bueno. No, sabe que vi ahora. Okay, very Un good. Un gato montés. Un gato montés, ya los he visto, sí, pero solo cuando existía el zoológico. Este era uno negro, y yo lo vi como que era un puma pequeño. Eh, pero no lo atacó. No, no. Ok, good. Sí, porque esos son salvajes. Yes. Puede ser, pero son bien grandes. Uh, yes. Son más salvajes que los que los motoristas de la 42 ah, 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 no, perdón <ríe> aquí en San Salvador los de la 42 la de Santa no. Tecla son la 42 <ríe> yes. ok, <ríe> sigamos entonces Evelyn Present teacher Freddy Freddy bueno, espero que sea por internet que no corrió Freddy <ríe> Ok. Eh, Ingrid. Present. Jessica Araceli. Jessica Carolina. Jonathan. Present teacher. Kenia. Kenia. María. Present teacher. María in Sonsonate, right? Yes. ¿Y cómo está por allá yes. por Sonsonate? María, está lloviendo también. Yes, fuerte. Fuerte, oh, sorry. It's raining cats and dogs, María. Raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Rain, cats and dogs. Yes. María René. Present. Good, welcome. Mateo. Mr. Torres Romero. Ok, Moisés. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Present teacher. William. Wilmer. 
Okay, very good. Now, let's start, right? Observe the situation here. There is a special situation. Pay attention, class. Pay attention. Here we have Herbert. Right? It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Herbert. Happy birthday to you. It's his birthday, right? He's having a party. But his friends cannot go to his party. Oh. So Herbert is alone, right? Like, well, in the case of Jessica, Jessica Carolina and, and, and Moises, que aún no deben el pastel todavía. <laughs> okay. Eh, no, ellos estuvieron con toda la familia ahí celebrando. Okay. Pero eh, her, pobre Herbert no, ahí está deprimido porque solo Firulais está con él, ¿verdad? Okay. So Herbert is depressed. He's having a party today, but his friends can go to his party. They are all busy. Maybe. I don't know, but they are busy, right? So we are going to practice the use of have to and has to. Look, I have to work. So I, I am not in Herbert's party, in the party because I have to work. Okay, uh, we have to work. You have to work. They have to work. Obligation, right? In third person, it says he has to work. She has to work. It has to work. Okay, now, here we have, for example, a, I don't know the name. We, we can say she is Carmen, or Marillita, or, or Carmencita, or, or Florcita, I don't know, right? Uh, and you make the question, can you go to Herbert's party? No, I can't. Obligation, I have to work. Now, Michael. Can Michael go to Herbert's party? No, he can. He has to. No, he have to. He has to go to the doctor, right? Okay, good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Can you go to Herbert's party? No, I can't. I have to work. Can Michael go to Herbert's party? No, he can't. He has to go to the doctor. Good? The same situation here, right? Can you go to Herbert's party? No, I can't. I have to work. Can Michael go to Herbert's party? No, he can't. He has to go to the doctor. Now, please. We're going to discuss about you and Tom. You and Tom, right? Then Susan. Uh, you and Tom is number one. Susan is two. And uh, your children is number three, right? Now let's start with Wilfredo. Wilfredo and Moises. Wilfredo, you make the question, and Moises, you make the answer, right? Okay, guys, ready? One, two, three, action. Wilfredo, you make the question like this. You say, can you... And can Tom, you, uh, uh. can you go the? No, no. Can you and Tom, you uh, and Tom. Ah, okay, okay. Can you and Tom? Who says? No. Uh -huh. Go to Herbert's party. Okay, Wilfredo, I will explain. Pay attention, Wilfredo, pay attention. Yes. Uh, here we have a question, look. Yes. Can, can you go to Herbert's party? 
Can you go to her party? Right? And uh, we we say, can you? You, right? Only you. And in the case of Michael, only Michael. Right? But in this question, you are going to say you and Tom. Substitution for you, you and Tom. But you have to say, go to her breast party. Look, go okay. to her breast party. Understand? Yeah, okay. Yes, okay. Go Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, sorry. Can, can you and Tommy go to her party? No, we can't. Uh, we can have to work. Okay, wait. No, we can't. No, we can't. No, we can't. Finish, right? No, we can't. We, no, we. We. We can. No, we can. <laughs> we have no, we to. Can. We have to. We have to. We have to. We have to, to work. Excelentoso. Ah, no, to work. No, look. Fix, fix our car. Lo que pasa es que, es que Wilfredo me preguntó si íbamos a ir al party. Y yo no, pensé no, no, que no, wait, le... no, wait, wait, wait. Lo que le preguntó es si usted y Tom iban a ir al party. Eso preguntó él. Si usted Ajá, y Tom al, iban al, a ir al no, En este caso, me dice usted es la rubia aquí. <ríe> Lo siento. <ríe> 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 okay. Y Tom es el que está no, aquí. No, sería... ¿Por qué no pueden ir a la fiesta? Porque usted y Tom están reparando el carro. Por eso, por eso no pueden ir. ¿Ya? Okay. ¿Sí entendió? Sí, ah, sí. Yes. Okay, no, no, we can. No, we can. No, we no, we can. can. Ajá. No, we can. Eh, fix our car. No, ok, wait, wait. There are two parts, right? Es que va a contestar en dos formas, en dos partes. Pay attention. Aquí le vamos a poner. Look. No, pero eh, digamos que Moisés es Tom para que se, se sienta más tranquilo ahí. ¿verdad? Me va a decir primero, no, we can, mire, no, we can't. Y luego me va a decir, we have to fix our car. Ok, understand? En dos partes. Ok, ready. Wilfredo, again, hagámoslo otra vez. Ready? Ok. One, two, three, action. Can, can you. And, Tom, and Tommy, Tommy, go to her party. Herbert's, we'll follow Herbert's. Herbert's party. No, we can't. Uh, we can't have to. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Moises. No, we can't. Okay. No, we finish. Can't. finish, right? Okay, and then... The other sentence, we have, we have to. Okay. Understand? Okay, again, escena 227. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> Wilfredo, Herbert's okay. party. Herbert's party. Can you and Tom go to Herbert's party? No, we can't. They have to work. We, we. We. We have to work. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> yes. okay. Se imprime, se imprime la escena. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good, Yeah, Nuestro difficult. Right? De la rubia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. I understand. No, no. Easy, easy. Don't, don't worry. No, you are Tom. You're not, you're not the, the, the blonde girl. Tenés la chica rubia, ¿no? Usted Tom, right? Okay, thank you. Now let's go to, um, let's say, Maria René. And Maria, right? Maria, you made the... Oh, wait. Aquí tengo unos mensajes, permítame. Oyente por el momento. Jonathan. Ah, ok. Wait a minute. Es que ustedes me hacen cambiar de menú cada rato. <laughs> ok. Jonathan, ¿verdad? Oyente. Pero me dicen cuando ya puedan, porque si se me queda en silencio, yo no les hago preguntas, ¿verdad? Ahí pónganme. Teacher, ya puedo participar. Ok. Eh, Maria, uh, estaré... Ah... Oh. María, a darle, a darle participación, digamos. Eh, ah, muy bien. Está lloviendo fuerte, sí, es cierto. Tiene razón, María. 
Ok, very good. Luego, eh, Ingrid, ya puedo participar. Excelentoso. Asombrante, Ingrid. Ok, very good. ya puede participar. Recuerden también que si que se quieren levantar a, a hacer su tacita de café o ir al baño, a tomar agua, algo así, eh, algo rápido, pues no es necesario que se reporte. Madre. Pero si hay un problema, se cae un árbol en, la, en su casa <risa> o qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Se están quemando ahí, se está quemando la sopa o algo, pues sí, ya, es algo urgente, ¿verdad? Pero de lo contrario, tranquilo, pueden pararse un ratitito, ¿sí? ¿yes? No problem, okay, good. Now let's continue. So in this case, entonces me va a ayudar eh, María René en, en Ingrid. Ya se, ya se conectó Ingrid. Ok, Ingrid. So, eh, eh, María René, you make the question, right? And Ingrid makes the answer, right? Ok, go ahead, please. Can Susan go to her bed? No, no, I, I no, can, no, no, she can, no, she can, she has to work, she has to, she has to work. No, she has to go to the dentist. So, she has to go to dentist. Excelentoso. Okay, thank you, Ingrid. Thank you very much. Uh, so, can Susan go to her birth party? Says, no, no, she can't. Of course. She has to go to the dentist, right? <laughs> Wow, okay, good. Now, number three. Thank you, uh, Maria René. Thank you, Ingrid. Now we have Freddy. No, Freddy se desconectó. Uh, Evelyn, please. Evelyn and Elsa. Number three. Okay. Uh, Evelyn, you make the question and Elsa the answer, right? Okay. Can your children go to Herbert's party? No, they can't. They have to do their their homework. Their homework. Perfect. Yes. Asombrante. Yes. Good. Now. Okay. Yeah. What? What is what is the pronunciation? There. There. Uh -huh. it is, there. It's like this. I will I will explain. Give me a second. Uh, the word there has an I, right? Tiene una I. Y yeah. pareci pareciera que tenemos que pronunciarla, pero no, no se pronuncia. No decimos there, uh -huh. no, no. Decimos there. Se parece okay. a la palabra ahí, mire. There, allí, there. Uh -huh. O they are, contractado. They are. We pronounce there. Las tres, su de ellos, allí y ellos son, is the same pronunciation. There, there there simple like that right mm -hmm. i get it good thank you thank you very much now so next let's go to the next let's go to the next teacher me mueve el lugar okay very good my says no problem no problem do it do it do it good now can you go to herbert's party no i can't i have to work Can Michael go to Herbert's party? No, he can't. He has to go to the doctor. Now, we're going to talk about John. Wash his clothes. Your parents clean their apartment. And, aha, uh -huh, you are invited to Herbert's party too. So, what is your excuse? What is your obligation? Number three is very interesting because it's personal, right? Okay, with John, please, John. This is going to be um, Delia and Francisco. Delia, you make the question. Francisco, the answer, right? Okay. Okay, guys, ready? One, two, three, action. Can John go to the Herbert's party? 
Francisco. And the question is, where is Francisco? Hmm, maybe it's raining. Okay. Good. So, uh, Carlos. Carlos is going to answer the question of Delia. Again, Delia, repeat the question. And is to the Herbert's body? No, to Herbert's body, right? Okay, Carlos. Can, re, can, excuse me, excuse me, Delia. Carlos, are you ready? Yes, yes, okay. ready, ready. Good, good. Go ahead. Can John go to Herbert's party? No. He can, he has to go to the doctor. No, 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 no. Sorry, Carlos. Así se hace en los chambres. No tiene que ir al doctor. Tiene que lavar la ropa, right? <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, again. No, he can. No, he can. He has to. No. He has to go. To... No, 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 no. He has to wash. Look. Yeah, he has to what? He He's... has to what? Wash. Wash. Wash his clothes. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Delia and Carlos. Wait, wait a minute. Tengo otro mensaje por acá, right? Tengo problemas con la aplicación. Oh. Okay, Francisco. I'm sorry for you, right? Okay. Quiere participar, eh, Francisco, pero no puede. Sorry. Okay, good. Espero que logre resolver su problema, Francisco, para que nos esté apoyando. Now, let's go to eh, Brenda, please, and Brenda Lee. Brenda, you make the question, eh, your parents, right? And Brenda Lee, you, you answer, right? Ready, Brenda and Brenda Lee? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. So, one, two, three, action. Um, can you, can you, can you go? To, no, no, can your parents, can your parents? Can your parents go to her, Her Herbert's, Herbert's party? Um, no. They can't. Ah, me falta la Yes, yes, yes. No, they have, they they, have to. No, they can't. They have to go to no, the. No, no, no. Wait, wait, no wait, they no, have no. to go clean their apartment. No, no. Go, no. Go is not necessary. No, oh. only clean, clean only. Okay. Again, okay. Again. They have clean their apartment. Good. They have to clean. Okay, they have to clean their apartment. There, there, Brenda Lee, there, there, their apartment. They have to clean their apartment. Their apartment. Their apartment. Their, their apartment. Good. Asombrante. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, two volunteers to make uh, the personal question, right? The personal question. Two volunteers. Raise your hand, please. Question and answer. I need two volunteers. One makes the question and the other makes the answer, right? Volunteers, please. Participation. Hello. How are you? Me, teacher. Oh, thank you. Delia, you make the question, right? Now the answer. The who answer. The answer. Who wants who wants to make the answer? ¿Quién quiere responderle a Delia? Okay. No hay ningún valiente. Me teacher. Okay, thank you Elsa for sal the salvation of the class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now Delia, you make the question and Elsa make answer personally. Personally. Okay. Invent the lady. Okay? Good. Okay. Elsa. Can you go to Herbert's party? Uh, no, I can't. I have to study English. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> very, 
Please, and then say you have a 10 for that. You have a 10 for that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Good, good imagination. Can I go to uh, level 10? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Now let me see. Francisco. Okay, Francisco. Nice. Ya puedo participar. Ada, right? Okay, Ada. Welcome. Welcome to the participation. Yes, let me see. Okay, Ada. And Francisco, right? He's ready with the microphone. Go, go. Now let's continue. Let's continue, right? Ah, huh? nine o'clock. Excuse me, ya son las nueve, ya nine o'clock. <laughs> Sorry, no he sentido el tiempo ahora, right? Now, uh, 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 we, we're going to make this quiz. And after the quiz, I will take the attendance, right? Yes? Good. Now, uh, I'm going to go one by one, right? I will start with Wilfredo. Wilfredo, Moises, Maria René, Ingrid, Evelyn, Elsa, Delia, Francisco, Carlos, Brenda, and Brenda Lee, and Ada. Okay? I'm going to empezar desde abajo. Okay, good. Uh, number one, I get up very early every morning at six o'clock. I have to get up, I has to get up, or I have get up. Ah, no, no, sorry, Wilfredo. I have to get up very early. Later? Every morning at six o'clock. Later? A, B, Later. or C? Is is for me I have to I know but A B or C A A correct good now number two Moises uh, John and Cindy number, number two okay no no uh, C letter C uh, no letter C okay letter C Good. Now, eh, Maria René, number three. We have two. Letter? B. Letter B. Good. Continue, please. Ingrid, number four. Little. Sí. 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 If you can see it. I can hear the rain in your house, Evelyn. It's raining, right? Yes, it's raining. Oh, I know. Okay, yeah. good. No, so A, B, or C, Evelyn? The letter A. Letter A. Good. Now, I am going to evaluate these five questions, and I will count the point, right? So let me see. Number one. Oh, wait. I have a message. Teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Very good, Kenya. I received the message. Permítame un segundito. Vamos a poner la asistencia. Ya va a entrar a clases. Okay, good. Now, oh, uh, number one is. Chan, 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 chan. Cling. Correct. I have to, right? Number two, Moises answered. He says. John and Cindy had to go to work every day. Oh, I'm sorry, Moises, but you're totally right. Correct. Yes, it's correct. Cling, right? Good. Number three. We have to. Yes. Cling. Number four. Me? Me? That's, no, wait. You, it's uh -huh, me. Wilf Wilfred. Sorry. Is letter B number four, Wilfredo? No, it's a, for me, it's the 40 is B. 
for you is B, right? Now let me see. Does your brother have to go? Sorry, we'll put this later. Ah, no, she, later yes, it's correct. It's correct, right? No, no, it's no, correct. Yes. No me, Wilfredo, no me estés desacreditando a los compañeros. No, yes, it's correct. <laughs> But it's he. Yes, yes, yes. okay. It's correct, right. Very good. Thank you, Wilfredo. So it's correct. Yes, it's correct, right? Yes. Good. Now, number five. When do you have to arrive? At... Yes, it's totally correct, right? Cling. Correct. Llevamos cinco puntos, okay? Correct. Five of five. Cinco de cinco. Good. Let's continue. Esto no se ha terminado. Number six, right? Number six is um, Elsa. A, B, or C, Elsa. Uh, B. B, letter B. Letter B, letter B. Okay, good. Thank you, Elsa. And okay, Delia, please, number seven. Letter, letter B. Letter B. Thank you. Carlos, ah, no, eh, Francisco. Number, number eight, Francisco. Hey. Sorry? Letter C. Letter C. Okay, it's raining in, in, in Francisco's house. I, I hear, I hear it. Raining cats and dogs. <laughs> okay, now, uh, number nine, please, uh, Carlos. No me le van a soplar, no me le van a soplar. <laughs> no soplation to Carlos. Carlos, ready? Carlos, do you copy? Okay, so Brenda, please help me, Brenda. In, Inga, in England, people have to drive, has to drive, or have to drive on the left side of the road. A, B, uh, or C? Uh, little... C? Letter C. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Brenda Lee, please. Number 10. A, B, or C? Brenda Lee? Yes, cuatro. Hello. Okay. okay, there you are. <laughs> so, number 10, Brenda Lee. Have, uh -huh. has to, or have to? A, B, or C? Have to. Letter C. Letter C. C? C. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Brenda Lee. Now, let's check the answer, right? Correct or incorrect? Good. A Number six, cling, correct, right? Do we really have to? Yes, number seven, correct. Number eight, why does Sarah have to make letter C is correct? Cling, yes. In England, people have is correct, but not drives, is too dry, right? So in this case, sorry. And right now, number 10. Ah, sorry, number nine is letter A, right? Letter A. Now, number 10. A, I have, I has to, or I have to. Letter C. Cling. That's correct, right? 
We have nine of ten, right? Tenemos nueve de diez. Excelentoso. Pero todavía no falta. Yes, let's continue. Okay. So, Ada, please. Why does do or A, B, or C, Ada? Mm, voy, voy. Okay. Children go to school, right? Why can they stay at home? So, A, B, or C. If you cannot answer Ada, you can you can I... say Team Marin de Dopi. <laughs> mm. A. Letter A. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Number 12. Okay, uh, sorry. Voy a tomar la asistencia uh, porque quiero ver quiénes van a participar again, right? Ada? Present. Good. Brenda Lee? Present. Brenda? Present. Carlos? Mr. Carpio? Francisco? Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes. Give me a is... Okay, good. Eh, Delia? Present teacher. Elsa? <laughs> Present teacher. Okay. Enrique? Ya llegó casita, Enrique? Todavía no. Okay. Erenia? Evelyn? Present teacher. Freddy? Ingrid? Present teacher. Jessica Araceli? Jessica Carolina? Jonathan? Present teacher. ¿Ya puede participar, Jonathan? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, good. Kenya? Present teacher. ¿Ya, ya puede participar, Kenya? Sí, a las yes. 8 y 54 entre clases. Ah, ok. Asombrante. Good. Eh, ¿María? Present teacher. Good. Thank you, María. Eh, ¿María René? Present. ¿Mateo? Moisés. Present teacher. René Alexi. Wilfredo. Present teacher. William. Wilmer. Ok, very good. Hoy sí está más claro el panorama. Let me see. And I Teacher. have three minutes. Uh -huh. Ajá. <laughs> eh, sí, ya la vi. Mi. Sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, I know, but give me a second. We're, we're <laughs> going to make the correction. Eh, María, ready, right? Yes. Let me see. María está lista. Eh, luego dice, letter C, Ada. Es la C, sí, ya la leí bien. Wilfredo me dio copia, pero no estaba correcta. Moisés también me quiso dar copia, pero no la acepté. Ah, ok, good. <risa> ok, dice, dice así, oiga bien lo que es el mensaje. Moisés me dio copia, pero estaba equivocado. <risa> Yo, yo pasando claro. iba, teacher. No. Wilfredo me pasó la copia, pero también estaba equivocado. Son bromas, son bromas. Ok, let's continue, right? So, Está mal eh... árbol, se arrimó. <risa> ok, good. So, letter... Letter C, right? Let me see. Uh, sorry. Here, letter C. Ada? 
Yes, right? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Let us see. You, you're sure? Okay, good. Later, we're going to check. Don't worry. Number 12, right? Uh, we have uh, Brenda Lee, please. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, perdón. Quiero ver. Ya, ya me perdí. Este... Yes. Ah, que okay. vamos de regreso en el listado. Okay, yes. So in this case, Brenda Lee again, right? Que ya la había preguntado usted, ¿verdad, Brenda Lee? Yes. Yes. Uh, and, perdón, ayúdenme, ya me, ya me perdí. ¿Quién no le había preguntado? <laughs> Me, teacher. Okay, Jonathan. Very good. Thank you, Jonathan. Number 12. A, B, or C, Jonathan? An A. Letter A. Okay, thank you. Entonces me voy a ir al, al puro pulso. Vamos a ver. Anybody else? ¿A quién más no le he preguntado? Yes, help me, please. Ayúdenme. Me, teacher. Okay. Eh, Kenya. Kenya. Thank you, Kenya. Yes, thank you, Kenya. Uh, my father, A, B, or C? Letter B. Letter B, okay. Letter B. Thank you. Now, number 14, anybody else? Alguien más que no le haya preguntado? Okay, now we come back. Ahora sí, regresamos entonces al listado. Brenda Lee, please. Number 14. A, B, or C? Uh, little B. Letter B. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. Brenda? Number 15, Brenda? Um, little... Um... Letter B. Letter B. Teacher, ¿puedo corregir la mía? Uh, no. <laughs> number 14. Bren Brenda Lee, number 14. Sí, creo que es la letra, la letter, letter C. Letter C, right, okay. Letter C. Le dio copia a Wilfredo. Uh, no, I guess it's... Moisés. <laughs> okay. Now, number 16. Lo están acusando ahí, Wilfredo. Defiéndase. Oh, for me, it's I. 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 <laughs> Come on. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, H, A. I. You know? A. Ah, A. <laughs> okay. A. Ya ve que no está pasando bien la copia, Wilfredo. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, number 16 to finish, right? Solo por eso se le vamos a preguntar a Wilfredo. Ok, Wilfredo, número 16. A, B, o C. ¿Qué do you think, Wilfredo? A, B, o C. Teacher. Ajá. A. A. Okay, let me see. Good, thank you. Now, let's check it out together, right? I will tell you yes or no, right? Yes or no. Just give me a second here. Vamos a acomodar aquí los comandos. Good. Why children are... Why are children have to... Mm, no, sorry. Oh. Do how to work. Okay, so the correct one is letter B. B letter B, right? Yeah. Because children is plural, so you have to say, why do yeah. children have to? Letter B, right? Eh, creo que ahí estaba bien al principio, ¿verdad, Ada? Bien, eh? No, no, el, ay, le había dicho. Ah, okay. A, uh -huh. A. Uh -huh. okay. Pero, don't worry, don't worry. But, but do you understand? Because ch children is plural. Children is plural. Uh -huh. yeah. So, and, and, and we have to and need to, the auxiliary other is do or does. Do or does, right? No verb to be. Are no. Yes. Does or do. Yes. In, this case, in this case, because children is plural, do. 
do? Why do children have? The children is they. Uh huh, is they. It's plural, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, number 12. Number 12. What do you have to? No, sorry. Si. Why do you have to? What do you si. have to do? Right, letter C. Si. C. Si. Letter C, yes. C, C, C. Number 13. My father has to wear a tie. Four. That's correct, right? Yes. That's correct. Cling. Good. And I have a new car, so I don't have to take a bus. Letter C is correct. Cling. Right? Number 15. I have to leave soon because I have to. No, sorry. And incorrect. I, I, I have to leave soon. I have an appointment. So that's letter A. Letter A is the correct, right? A. Because uh, have in this case is tener. Tener de yo tengo. Tengo, tengo, tú no tienes nada, tengo tres ovejas, right? So it's uh, have to and have. Number 16, right? You don't have to tell your, your secret if you don't want. Oh, secret. Secret. Cling. Correct, right? Okay, so we have. The grade for you is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, your grade is 8.0. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 8.0, right? That's your grade. It's not a bad grade. It's not perfect, but it's, it's good. Yes. Good. Any question, class? Any question? Good. Now, in this moment, we... Sorry? The appointment is the say the cita, teacher. Te, tengo una cita. Tengo, yo tengo una cita. Es no okay. tengo que una cita. Sí, no. Tengo. Yes. Yes. It's the appointment. The person say is okay. letter A, right? I have to leave soon because I have an appointment, right? Okay. Now we're going to go to the platform. Nos vamos a ir a la plataforma, yes? Okay, today we have the midterm test, right? Eh, esta noche tenemos que dejar completo la unidad 1, la unidad 2 y el examen de medio curso. 3. Unidad 1, unidad 2 y examen de medio curso, okay? Good. Now, let's go to the platform. Nos vamos a la plataforma, chicos. And let's check it out, right? La unidad uno, pues ya la revisamos. Unit two, right? Let's go activity by activity. Activity number one. Number six, excuse me. Instruction, multiple choice. Select the correct answer. How seldom, how often, or how many do you go to the dentist? Right? So you can check how how seldom, how often, or how many, right? One of the three options. She never takes, or she every day, or she always takes a shower. A, B, or C, right? My doctor doesn't always smoke, doesn't usually smoke, or doesn't sometimes. Smoke, right? Here in this context, you have the, the frequency after the auxiliary, right? So what is correct? Always, usually, or sometimes. I am always on time. I always am on time or I don't am on time. 
How often do you go to the beach? I never go to the beach. I rarely go to the beach. Or I usually go to the beach. And then at this, then he says, I love it. Adoro ir a la playa, right? So according to the logic, never, rarely, or usually. You take the decision, right? Send and that's it. Lo envían y ya está, okay? Questions? Okay, activity number seven. Activity number seven. Again, you're going to uh, choose one. We have verbs like supervise, write, check, send, and call. In this case, I send the personal, I check the personal. No, excuse me, no. It's send the personal, check the personal, or supervise the personal. Right? After you do this, you eliminate one, right? For example, you say, right, teacher, the correct one is right. Okay, so you eliminate right. And, or you say, uh, is supervised. You eliminate supervised, right? Or you say, uh, teacher is send, send the person, right? You eliminate and continue with supervised, right? Okay, that's the idea. Good. Next one is supervise the potential customers, call the potential customers, or check. Este ejercicio es el uso del imperativo. ¿Se recuerdan? Que no se usa sujeto, solo el verbo. Right? Pero aquí hay que usar un poco la lógica. ¿verdad? ¿Qué se hace con el personal? Se le llama a su casa al personal, se le supervisa en el lugar de trabajo, se le escribe, se le envía. Ok, lo mismo con los clientes. Supervisan a sus clientes, le llaman a sus clientes o chequean a sus clientes. Yes. Good. Number three. Send memos, call memos, supervise memos. ¿Qué hacemos con los memos? Send. No, no, shh, no. Shh. Please. It's not permitted the chepia. <laughs> no me permite Sorry. la chepia. <laughs> ok, now. The report, call the report, send the report, or check the report. Send a letter, write a letter, or check a letter, right? So only one option. Questions? Aquí estos puntos son regalados prácticamente, porque si usted se equivoca puede corregir, yes, no problem. Yes, good. Number eight, choose, have to, need to, right? Has to, needs to. What is correct? Es el ejercicio que nos decía Ada, ¿verdad? Vaya, pero vamos a ver aquí, usemos la lógica, a ver cuál, como el que elaboró la plataforma tenía alguna idea, si era has to o era need to. No le voy a decir la respuesta, pero le voy a indicar algo así como la lógica. Así. Okay. Go shopping. She doesn't have red shoes. Ella no tiene zapatos eh, rojos. ¿Sí? Y si no tiene zapatos rojos, bueno, tiene que ir de shopping o necesita ir de shopping. Ahí ustedes tomen la, la, la idea que ustedes crean más conveniente. ¿Ok? Very good. Eh, si se equivocan, pues la vuelven a hacer. Ahí no hay problema. Ok. Number two. I need to or I have to study for the English exam to get my American scholarship. Oh, una beca de estudios. Nice. American scholarship, right? Ok. Um, aquí tengo mi propia idea. Para mí... Es una de las dos opciones. No les voy a decir cuál, pero como que se tira más a esta opción porque estudiar para el examen, ¿no? ¿Ok? ¿Es necesaria o no es necesaria? ¿O es una obligación la, la visa? Ok, you don't get up early if you don't want. 
no te tienes que levantar o no te necesitas que levantar. Mm, esta creo que está fácil también, en mi opinión, ¿verdad? Y, pero como le repito, si se equivocan, pueden volver a corregir. Eat right now. I'm starving. Comer. Yumi yumi. Estoy muriendo de hambre. I'm starving. Ahí también como que la lógica juega mucho, ¿verdad, Delia? Creo que ahí si la lógica nos dice cuál es la respuesta. Ok, en number five, prepare a document for my boss. Ah, también está. Ambas son correctas, pero una, hay una que le tira más. No las puedo decir porque. ¿Verdad? A menos que alguien me, me ofrezca una semita aquí en el grupo, yo les digo la respuesta. <risa> ok. No, Kitty, come on. Good. Any question, class? Questions? Oh, yes, Moises, you're right. <laughs> yes. It's necessary with the coffee, right? Number nine. Again, have to need, right? Pay the university matricule or study this semester. Yes, ahí eso está un poco claro también. They need to go or have to go to the immigration center. Aquí sí. Cualquiera de las dos puede ser, yes. She needs to or has to lose to wear their dress in the wedding. Sí, aquí un poco lógica, Delia. Ahí en el chat le voy a dar la respuesta solo a usted, oiga, para que... <risa> no, mentira. Pero, eh, cuando la resuelva va a ver que... I did it. Eh... And then... No, no me va a decir la respuesta porque no, en, en ahí, ahí, está, ahí... ahí está poniendo la oreja Mo Moisés, miren, no, no, no me le va a dar copia, por favor ok <ríe> and what, what was the, the, your idea Delia eh, por favor de la, for me, no, 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 I, no. I, I have a mistake when, when I answer ah, good, but at the end you correct, right? yes yeah, that's it, right. sorry Moisés You have to do it by yourself. <laughs> my, best, <laughs> my best friend has to or needs to relax before the exam. Yo le encuentro lógica, ¿verdad? Pero ahí cada quien es. Repito, la misma idea que le di a Adelia. For me, the two are correct. Has to, needs to, right? But there is one that, according to the logic, you have to, to shoot, right? And number five. See you as soon as possible. Ah. Verte tan pronto como sea posible, right? Okay, very good. Let's continue. Okay, Maria René, I got your message. Maria René, okay. Good. Now, let's continue with number five, right? Good. This is the use of frequency algebra, right? Frequency algebra. How often do you drink? Uh, I always drink. I never drink. Or I usually drink. <clears throat> está facilita porque es I am allergic to it. Soy alérgico a la leche. So always, never, or usual. Easy, right? Now, please call that memo today. Write that memo today or supervise the memo today. Llamar el memo, escribir el memo, o supervisar el memo. So you say that. I have to wear, I has to wear, or I don't has to wear glasses. Look careful, be careful, to be careful. There is water on the floor, right? And number five, Marta usually visits 
always visits or rarely visit her mom because she lives far away, vive muy lejos. La mamá vive en Morazán y ella vive en Santa Ana, you know. It's far away. <laughs> okay? So usually, always or rarely visits. Creo que está fácil. Good? That's it, right? You need to. Now, midterm test. Ahora sí nos vamos al examen, chicos. De la unidad 1 y 2. Unit 1 and 2. Ready? Okay. Good. My boss send, sending or sends. My co-workers in plural. Listen, it's in plural. Be careful. My co-worker, no. My co-workers. Plural, right? Number three, my boss write reports days, daily, or every days. Check it out here, please. I have a meeting, tengo una reunión, right? Weekly, weeks, or each weeks. Que hay un errorcito por ahí, ¿verdad? Que no voy a caer en la cascarita. Ok, good. People at work to the conf go to the conference every year. One year or yearly. Ok, class. That's number one, right? Or oh, I say part one. Part two. Mario, singular, Mario is only one, right? Don't, doesn't, or does not like work. My friends, plural, plural, eat lunch together, in negative, right? Not, doesn't, or don't. How much do you, does you, or no auxiliar? No lleva auxiliar? Y si llevas el do o el das. Number four. I likes, I like, o I no like. Come on. Easy, right? Este sí está facilito. My sister's friends doesn't, does, or don't. My sister friends. Notice that friends is plural, right? Okay. Part three, right? My mother has to go shopping. Ah, aquí está la repetición, ¿verdad? Needs to. Este ya lo vimos. I need to or I have to study. Uh, con el midterm, no sé si les da opción, Delia. Se pueden equivocar en el examen. Sí, yes, igual, teacher. igual, okay, the same. Thank you, Dele, the same. Good. Well, well, easy. El que no se saca 10 porque no quiere aquí, entonces. Pero solo 10 veces permite equivocarse. A la 27 ya no le permitió. <laughs> <laughs> ok. A la 33 ya no lo dejó. Ok, number four. I uh, call the report, send the report, or check the report, right? Estamos practicando el imperative, the imperative. Okay, and number four, I have to pay, I need to go, I have to go. Es un poco la repetición de la actividad de la unidad dos, ¿verdad? Good. Questions, class, questions. Los que no lo han hecho, por favor, aprovechen ahorita. Háganlo, ya. Yeah. O antes, si se puede. Yes, you can do it. And then if you have questions, tell me, please. No? Okay, good. So let's go to the to the presentation for today. But before to go to the presentation, we're going to listen to an audio, right?
Okay. Good. The monk. Listen, please. Unit 11. What are you going to do? Page 72, Exercise 1. Months and Dates. Part A. Listen and practice the months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, good. Now we have the ordinal number, right? The ordinal numbers. Listen, please. Page 72, Exercise 1, Part B. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Okay, again. Listen, please. Page 72, exercise. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Well, I'll say hello. Okay, these are the ordinal number, right? The ordinal numbers. Okay? And you use this for dates, fecha, right? Dates. Now, I will... Uh, Present the the PowerPoint, right? For today. Okay, today is September the first. This is presentation number ten. Is review of the unit two, right? And practice. The objective, you know, use ordinal numbers first, second, third, right? And organize activities by date using the month, January, February, March, April, etc., etc., right? Good. Then uh, we have this conversation. Susan says, mm, Adele, please, 
Check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Okay. Uh, good. Then it says on Monday, November 22nd. On Monday, November 22nd. 22nd. Uh, what about the conference with the Mexican representatives? Ah, it's on Friday the 26th. Friday the 26th, right? So, when is Susan meeting class? When is Susan meeting? On Monday. On Monday, February. November. November 22nd. 22nd, correct. That is Susan. And who is Adele? Is the manager or the secretary of Susan? Susan is the boss. Susan is the boss, right? And Adele is the secretary. Secretary. Yes, good. Uh, and... Moisés, do you have problem with your, your audio? ¿Tiene problemas con su audio? Ah, no, ahí está bien. Sorry, es que un mensaje. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, good. Let's continue, right? But, ah, sorry, repeat after me. Repeat after me, please. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? On Friday, uh, 26th. 26th. <laughs> 26th, right, 26th. Okay, thank you. Now, these are the ordinal numbers. Check it out. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. And then we begin again, right? 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, etc., etc. Then 30th, 30th, right? 40th, 40th, 50th, 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 right? Okay, good. These are the ordinal numbers. Then we have the month and the days. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Repeat after me, please. Monday. It's not Monday. Monday, no. Man, Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Th, th, th. Thank you. Thank you. Thursday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Oh, Saturday. It's no problem. Saturday or Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. It's not Sunday, no. Sunday. Good. And then we have the month. January, February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So repeat after me, please. January, February, March, 
April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, class, I will tell you the story of the month, right? Eh, antes de los romanos, solo eran 10 meses, ¿no? Yes. Okay, luego los romanos le agregaron dos meses, January and February, right? Son meses agregados. Y ya no eran 10 meses, eran 12 meses, you know? Pero como quedaron algunos meses con los nombres del 1 al 10, del 1 al 10, nos quedó septiembre, que quiere decir 7, miren, sep, 7, ok, que quiere decir 8, no, que quiere decir 9, y de, que quiere decir 10, December. Entonces, como antes eran 10 meses, septiembre era el séptimo, octavo, noveno y décimo mes. Ok, pero ahí quedaron los nombres. También los, los romanos, como eran bien religiosos, adoraban sus dioses. Eh, y una de sus diosas favoritas era Juno. Juno, ¿no? Entonces, así le pusieron al mes. Junio, de Juno. Creo que es la misma Minerva, no estoy seguro. Bien. Que para los romanos y los griegos tenían diferente nombre. Luego hubo un emperador que se llamaba Julio César. Y dijo Julio César, no, quiero que un mes se llame como yo. Eran de engreídos los emperadores romanos, ¿no? Entonces le puso un nombre de Julio César, Julio, por Julio César, el emperador. Y el siguiente emperador, cuando ya murió Julio César, vino otro que se llamaba César Augusto. César Augusto, y dijo él, no, hombre, si a qué le puso nombre, a su... yo también, dijo. Quiero un mes que se llame como yo, Augusto, August, you know? Esa es la historia de los meses. So, we're going to practice to finish, right? We're going to ask about your birthday. Moisés, when is your birthday? It's on September, October, November. When is your birthday, Moises? Do you copy, Moises? Okay. Uh, excuse me, tenía el, el audio apagado. Uh, it's on August. It, it's on August. Mm -hmm. 30th? Uh, 28th. 28th. Good. Thank you. Now, uh, Moises, ask Delia, please. When is your birthday, sir? Uh, Delia, what is your birthday? What no. is your birthday? No, when? No, sorry, Moises. Birthday, no, because it's el día de la cerveza. No, no, no. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> birthday. O el día del pájaro. When is your birthday? <laughs> no, no. Birthday. When's your birth? Birthday. Delia, okay. when's your birthday? Excellent. Good pronunciation. Delia? It's um, June 3rd. Okay. Delia to Wilfredo, please. Wilfredo. When's when's your birthday? It's um the day the moon. It's my May May tenth. Oh, excellent May tenth. Wilfredo to Maria, please. Maria, when's your birthday? I September fifteenth. It's 
on September 15th. Nice, Maria. Yes. So we're going to have celebration too. También vamos a tener semita ese día, señores. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes, I know, pero el 14 que indica que no podemos celebrar antes. Yes. Okay. Los María, los cumpleaños se celebran un día antes o un día después, no hay problema. Yes. No, okay. me venga, no me venga con excusas que no nos va a dar pastel. No. Please. Sí, le voy a dar. Pastel patriótico. Teacher, ten, 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 ten. <laughs> yes. teacher, the calendar is with, with years. Uh, no, this is just an example, right? Okay. Yes, it's, it's, okay. it's not uh, absolutely necessary. It's, no, it's 2023. No, no, no. It's just an example, okay. right? Yes. Okay, Maria to Kenya. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, es aquí me dijo, perdón. Eh, Kenya. A, a Kenya, okay. When's your birthday, Kenya? It's on August 13th. August 13th, oh. oh. Yes. August 13th, ¿verdad? Y comenzamos el 18, ¿verdad? No, no, ¿cuándo comenzamos? Then they say, no, no estaba cumpliendo August años. 22nd. 22nd, yes. No, ya no, no, no aprovechamos el cumpleaños entonces de Kenia. Bueno, well, yes. <laughs> ya había comido el pastel. <laughs> ok, Kenia, no, tu, no. Kenia, tu Ingrid, please. Ingrid, when's your birthday? Birthday, say Kenia. Birthday. Birthday. Uh -huh, Ajá, yeah. It's on October 8th. 8th. October 8th. Good, thank you. Eh, Ingrid to Francisco. Yes. Francisco, when's your birthday? My, be my birthday is... July 26th. July 26th. <laughs> okay, Francisco. Now you make the question to eh, Carlos. No sé si todavía está conectado, Carlos. Come on, Francisco, ask. Carlos, are you there? Okay, no, Enrique. So, Enrique, ready? Hello, Enrique. Okay, so Elsa. Francisco, make the question to, to Elsa, please. Elsa, when you birthday? Hello, Elsa. Okay. Brenda, so, <laughs> todas me están escapando. Brenda, ready, Brenda? Brenda, yes, 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 yes okay. Uh, when? Brenda. When you birthday? It's on March 20, 27. 27. Okay, very good. So because of the time, right? Uh, we finish here. We finish here. So I take the attendance of everybody. But let me see. Uh, vamos a ver a quién le toca la sesión de uno a uno. Uh, let me see. Jonathan. ¿Puede quedarse conmigo ahora, Jonathan? Chicha, lo podría programar para la semana siguiente, para no el lunes. No problem. Yeah. Excelentoso. Next week. Don't worry. Se me escapó, Jonathan. Está bien. <laughs> Kenia, can you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Kenia. Thank you very much. Now, eh, class, thank you very much for everything. I, take, I took the attendance. Ya les tomé la asistencia a todos los que están en el grupo. So please, uh, I Thank will you see teacher. you. Thank you, Happy weekend. You too. Please don't don't forget to finish the platform, right? No se lo olvide terminar la plataforma, please. See you on okay. Monday. See you on Monday. Monday. See you Monday. 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 See you. Take care. Happy Bye, teacher. weekend. Bye. God bless you. Enjoy your weekend. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. God bless you. Bye bye. Okay. Goodbye, Elsa. Goodbye, Carlos. See you on Monday. <laughs> okay. Hi, Kenya. How are you? I am fine, teacher. Okay. How's your father? 
I sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. Same guy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a student. I was supposed to be here before, but at 8.35 Yes, I imagine. And don't worry, I understand. It's incredible. You pass for Los Chorros, right, Kenya? No, vengo yo desde El Salvador del Mundo hasta Soyapango. Ah, yes, I know. Y en el Salvador, el Salvador del Mundo ahorita está terrible, you know, como están arreglando ahí, pues, yes. Mm -hmm. Also en el Parque Cuscatlán, too, right? Ah, Han sí, cerrado, ah, sí. Me tengo que ir pie todos los días al centro, porque no pasan los buses. O si pasan, pero llenas y uno no se puede subir. Yes, y también en el propio centro, un montón de hoyos que están ahí, yes. Bueno. Mm -hmm. Esperamos que quede bonito al final, ¿verdad? que es lo importante. Pero de momento, ni modo, a sufrir, a sufrir ah, con sí. el tráfico, Kenia, a sufrir con el tráfico, ¿eh? Ni uh -huh. modo. Ok, Kenia, uh, there is something you didn't understand. ¿Hay algo que no, no le quedó claro que quisiera repasar? O... You tell me. Fíjese que hasta el momento, gracias a Dios, voy entendiendo los temas porque siempre trato de repasar en la empresa la clase que usted nos da, sobre todo la de los lunes, trato de repasar la martes y la del jueves, los viernes okay. porque no, no le presto atención, soy honesta ahí en el seguro me cuesta sí, bastante es muy difícil estar pendiente ahí con tanto y lo que es ver tutoriales aparte para aprender ir aprendiendo cada clase y también seguir aprendiéndome yo las palabras en inglés, los verbos y todo eso y los powerpoint los practica porque es Siempre a después veces, de la clase les envío el PowerPoint para que lo uh -huh, repasen. A veces, sí, a veces no, porque tengo bastante trabajo pendiente de la empresa. Por ejemplo, esta semana hemos estado en cierre de mes. No he podido estar viendo todo. Solo he escuchado la canción que usted nos envió. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. <ríe> the, best are born, the best are born, right? Y se hizo ah. consejo de escuchar música en inglés, ver también películas en inglés. Nice. Eh, la última película que vio, What Was the Last Movie? Ay, sí, era el gran perro rojo, pero la puse en ah, inglés. Nice. Uh -huh. I, I know this movie. Yes, it's, yes, uh -huh. it's nice. The big it's dog, you know. It's, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. nice. Congratulations. And another option, eh, for example, today I forgot to send the, the audiobook. Hoy, este día se me olvidó mandarles el, el audiobook. Pero los audiobooks, los audiolibros también son... Son bien, buenos. bien relajante porque usted solo tranquila, solo escucha. Si tiene auriculares, pues se los pone ahí con su cafecito ya. Tranquila, practica ahí. Un día domingo en la tarde. Domingo en la I tarde. Y... Like teacher. Oh. <risa> no, está bien. no le Pero sí, Ahí estamos practicando lo, el tiempito que nos queda para poder aprender, porque no solo se trata de venir y sentarnos y que usted nos dé la clase, sino que también de poner de nuestra parte. I know. And then uh, I congrat congratulations to you because you're in the Seguro Social listening, right? And when you can participate, I know that Kenya is there. I say, Kenya, and then you say, yes, teacher. Uh, uh -huh. I, I like that because you are very participative. You're very participative, Kenya. I like that, yes. And yes. I know you're responsible. And But you don't have children, right, Kenya? No. Oh. No, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, might, for example, sí. look at Evelyn. Evelyn is taking care of the baby and with the class, right? It's, it's com complicated, but yeah, she's good. Yes, Evelyn is good. So, and and also uh, Delia, I, I remember she has children, but they're grown up. Ya están grande, but, but even uh -huh. though, you know, we have a compromise when we have children. Es más complicado así. Yes. Con los niños. Yes. Sí. Imagínese yeah. yo los lunes y jueves vengo llegando aquí a las diez y media. Sorry, sorry, a veces but. Uno no quiere, verdad, como. I know, but there is a God, you know, hay un Dios que sabe la buena obra que está haciendo ustedes, Kenia. Yes. Ahí está. Right, right. Yes. I had a student right in seventh grade. Teníamos un estudiante en séptimo grado en la escuela donde trabajo que. También recibía tratamiento y es eh, muy complicado, ¿verdad? Pero siempre hay que estar pidiéndole a Dios, orándole a Dios para que todo mejore. Oiga. Ok, Kenia, eh, so that's it, right? Ah, eh, oh, sorry, the last question. With the platform, no problem. Do you complete everything? Uh, 
Sí, con la, con la plataforma voy así, digamos, usted a la clase ahora, al siguiente día yo estoy haciendo la tarea. Solo que ahora sí me adelanté porque como tenía que, tienen que hacer ustedes el cierre y ahí se, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, the midterm, midterm. Ajá, es, midterm. ahora midterm. lo terminé. Solo que, sí, solo que sí soy honesta, me salieron algunas malas que yo aquí los he puesto en el cuaderno, que es lo que tengo que repasar, porque la plataforma no nos dice, ¿verdad? Eso está malo y uno lo puede arreglar, pero de uno depende también el hacer bien las cosas. You're totally y, right, Kenny, yes. Estoy tra tratando de aprender yo también, teacher, digamos, viendo tutoriales, con el libro ya también lo imprimí. Lo tengo en, en copia y también lo estoy resolviendo, pero ese sí lo hago el fin de semana, cuando ya estoy aquí. Asombrante. Gracias, Dublín. <laughs> ok, thank you very much. Uh, Kenia, I hope you have a good weekend, right? And I hope to see you on Monday, Kenny, right? Sí, gracias, teacher. God Pase bless buenas. you. You too, you too. Have a good night. Bye bye.